This packet tracer activity covers basic Cisco router network configuration. So we're going to go through all the commands that we'll need to accomplish each objective in this activity. The way that this activity has been set up resembles how you would configure a router in real life. So you would use the PC to open a terminal session to the router in order to configure it via the command line interface. When you open up the packet tracer activity, you'll see that we have this window here and it's the exact same thing as this text window right here but this is where we're going to check our results to see that we've done everything correctly so if you click that it'll tell you that it's incomplete because we haven't done anything yet and if you click on assessment items you can see a list of every single objective we need to complete before the activity is done so we can just close out of this and we'll minimize this because we already have this text window right here with everything we need to do so you are the network administrator at Rannet Company. We have just installed a new router to be our gateway. You have to do the basic configuration via the console terminal as below. So the first step is to set the host name to be Rannet A. And to do that, we need to go into the console terminal here, and go to desktop, and then click terminal. And this terminal configuration window is showing what the port configuration would actually be on the physical device. So if we click on that and click enter to get started and then what we need to do is enter the privileged exec command mode. So to do that you need to type enable and what you can also do is just start typing enable and then press tab and it'll autofill for you. So then you can just press enter now you'll see there's a pound symbol right here indicating that we are in the privileged exec command mode. So now that we're in here we need to enter the global configuration mode so to do that you type configure and again you can just type a little bit and then press tab to autofill and then configure T for terminal you can type the entire thing out or just press T. So now we are in the configure mode and all we have to type is hostname ran it a just like it says up here now we need to set enable secret to be ran it enable pass and it kinda gives us a hint of what we need to do so all we have to do is type enable secret ran it enable pass so then we need to set the console password to Ranit console pass and this is going to deter unauthorized access to the router via the console connection. So while we're in this global configuration mode we're going to enter line con zero and you can see it says config line right there so that's how we know that we're in that configuration and then we're going to type password Ranit console pass. Okay, and then we're going to type log in and, eg and end that now. So now we've exited that. And we're dropped back down to the privileged exec mode. So now we need to set the telnet password to Ranit telnet pass. And this can be done with the virtual terminal lines of the router. And this is used solely to control inbound telnet connections. So they're virtual in the sense that they're a function of the software and there's no hardware actually associated with them. And they appear in the configuration as line VTY04. Uh, but that didn't work because we need to go back to the global configuration mode. So we're going to go back and type configure T and then try that one more time. Okay, so now we're in that VTY line. And we're going to type password ran telnet pass. Okay. And then we're going to exit. Oop. Exit. There we go. Next, we need to set the IP address of interface fast ethernet 00 to be the first address of network 10.0.0.0. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get into the interface of the fast ethernet. So to do that you type interface fast ethernet 00, zero. and then we can see that we're in there with the config if and then to set the IP address we type IP address 
and for the first network in 10.0.0.0 it's going to be just 0.1 so it'll be 10.0.0.1 and then for the subnet that we need to attach it to we know that with the 30 network that the IP address would be 255 and then 252 at the very end okay so now we can exit that and then the next step is to set the IP address of interface fast ethernet 01 to this so we'll do the same thing there except we'll go into the interface of fast ethernet 01 and then we'll do the same thing for add IP address and this time we're gonna put 192.168 0 0.254 and we know that a 26 network means that the subnet mask is going to be 255 192 okay exit now the next step is both interface fast ethernet 00 and 01 must be enabled in order to do that we'll need to go back into each of those interfaces again so and to enable them we just need to type no shutdown now we can see here it just confirms that saying the state was changed for this one now we can exit this and do the same for the next one okay so now that we have both of those changed it's time to test these configurations so we're going to have to end the configuration mode and then what we're going to do is type ping 10.0.0.2 from ran at A. Oh, I typed ping wrong. We'll do ping 10.0.0.2 and then time out two seconds. So after that's done, success rate 80% and usually it will be 80 to 100%. So that is good. Next up, we need to telnet from ran at PC to ran at A by using this IP address and the password that we used above. So we need to go to the ran at PC and click desktop and then command prompt. And what we're going to do here is type telnet and then 192.168.0.254. And then it's going to ask for the password, and it's not going to show you the password that you're typing, so you're going to have to be very careful with what you type. And if you typed it correctly, it'll show you right here, ran at A, indicating that we have successfully telneted. And then let's check all of our progress here to see if we have completed everything. All right, congratulations on completing this activity. And we have everything here. So we just learned some basic Cisco router network configuration using the console terminal.